do y'all like my theme song? I really, really enjoy the theme song. <laughs> good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Good Morning with me, Misty B. Now, today we are going to do something slightly different, right? So we enjoy all things authentic, all things transparent, and we really enjoy just having genuine conversation with genuine people, okay? So today we're going to talk about different things that women go through. We're gonna call this segment or this actual show, Woman to Woman. It was very important to me when asked to do this show that I talk about everything dealing with women, right? From internally, externally, family, friends, children, uh, relationships, everything, right? We want to dive deeper into that. Things that women want to know or just different discussions or different things we may not hear all the time. You know, some, some topics are taboo, but I want to be very clear. It's a good chance there will be absolutely nothing taboo with me, okay? All things are on the table and we're going to have the genuine conversation today with our special guest. Her, she is a U.S. district judge. Her name is Vanessa Gilmore. And guess what? She's been a judge since 1994. So she's been on a career path for quite some time. We're going to talk about can women have it all? My personal belief is absolutely yes because the sky is the limit, right? And I say that's true, and that's if I don't wanna be an astronaut. So you know what, if you wanna be an astronaut, you can go further than the sky. But in the studio today, we're gonna to talk about that. We're going to talk about her career, we're gonna talk about family, we're gonna talk about balance. So you guys stay tuned, we'll be right back after this break. at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $319 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $399 a month. Both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 1.9% APR for 60 months plus bonus cash. Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Welcome back, beautiful people. As promised, I have Judge Gilmore in the studio with me today. And guess what? We are talking about woman to woman. All things that women go through, even the taboo topics that sometimes we do not want to talk about. Judge Gilmore, how are you today? I am wonderful. Good morning, Misty. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Okay, you ready to go in? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> so let me tell you how this actually came about. So when a million asked me to do the show, I literally said, okay, I really, really, really want a woman to woman. I said segment at the time. I said, because I want to talk about the things that we don't talk about or the things we wish we knew from health, wealth, you know, you name it. And so here you are, you are my very first woman to woman show. Are you ready? I am so excited to be here with you today. Let's go. Yay. Okay. But tell <laughs> us about your career first. You've been a judge since 1994. Right. 27 and uh, going on 27 and a half years already. Wow. Okay. Uh, coming up on my retirement at the end of this year. Uh, and it's been a really uh, fun and interesting and challenging uh, uh, opportunity to be a federal judge. Okay. Uh, I've loved it every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though, every other day. You're honest. See, that's that woman to woman. That's, that's exactly that authenticity. Right. I think that the thing that we are challenged if we have 
amazing careers and amazing opportunities. Mm -hmm. I, I think that people try to make us feel like we're supposed to love it every single moment. Mm -hmm. Like, do we even even our children? Do we love them every single day? We love them every day. Every other day we like them. But <laughs> <laughs> and you know, some people say like is more important than love sometimes. That's exactly right. I don't You're know. Exactly but... <laughs> right. Um, but uh, you know, becoming a federal judge wasn't on my list of things to do this lifetime. Uh, I was uh, practicing as a trial lawyer, enjoyed my work as a trial lawyer, mm -hmm. felt that it was a great career for me. Uh, and then I got tapped on the shoulder and said, hey, this is something we think that you need to consider. I really wasn't interested at the time. I, I remember calling um, my pastor, mm -hmm. Bill Lawson uh, from Wheeler Avenue and mm -hmm. saying, you know, Reverend Lawson, something, something terrible's happened. He said, what? I said, they want me to be a federal judge. He said, ask yourself two questions. Can you do a good job and will it be good for the community? Mm -hmm. And I said, I think I can do a good job. And he said, I think it will be good for the community for little black girls mm -hmm. to see you in that position. And I think mm -hmm. that that's an opportunity that you cannot pass up. Uh, but when I called my other mentor, uh, Governor Ann Richards, mm -hmm. and asked her about it, she said, no, don't do it. Ah. I got plans for you. I got things I want you to do. I want you to run on hmm. the ticket with me and uh, for the Railroad Commission. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, so I called my mom, the best mentor of all. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, I told her what the governor said. And she said, you know, Vanessa, I never heard you say you wanted to run for statewide office. She said, if you'd said it even once, I would mm -hmm. say, go ahead and do it. And she said, but sometimes you get on the fast train to somebody else's destiny. There you go. And sometimes you need to pull that bell and just get off. Moms know best, don't they? Always. She gave you exactly what you needed. Exactly. And pulled it right out of you. The answer was already inside of you. Exactly. Mom just pulled it out. Because, you know, I think that that happens to us a lot as Absolutely. women. We get on other people's train mm -hmm. and we end up uh, in their destiny and not our own destiny. And I think that that's something that we really have to be mindful of. I like that you said that. So let's talk about destiny. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're happy with your decision Absolutely. to become a federal judge. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome, Judge Gilmore. So tell me, what is something you would have told your 27-year-old self? Mm -hmm. And I'm using 27 because it's been almost 27 years. <laughs> so what would you have told your 27-year-old self like today? What advice would you give? Uh, that the way to make God laugh is to tell him your plans. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a start. Okay. And, you know, and to be thankful for unanswered prayers. Ooh. Because there are so many things that we want for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Relationships, mm -hmm. jobs, uh, things that we think should be uh, part of our destiny. Mm -hmm. And when they don't work out, uh, we say, what happened, God? You know, I prayed for this. I mm -hmm. wanted that man. Mm -hmm. I wanted that opportunity. I wanted that job. I wanted that house. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't come through. I think it takes getting more mature, mm -hmm. living more life experiences to realize that sometimes you have to be thankful for those unanswered prayers. So is there an unanswered prayer that you can tell the positive end of it. Like you didn't get the, you didn't get what you asked for, but you got something better. You have a story. Well, you know, I, I think that I am not uh, unlike a lot of, of women mm -hmm. who thought that uh, I would probably be married with children in my thirties uh, and, and have a successful career mm -hmm. uh, all at the same time and doing all of them well. Mm -hmm. uh, but that didn't work out uh, for me because I think that there really is no such thing as doing all at the same time and doing them well. And because I'd spent so much effort on my career, uh, I got to my pinnacle career job uh, at 36 years old, mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. which meant that I had done so to the neglect of my personal life. And so uh, the uh, life that I had envisioned for myself, married, children, great career, great job, house, all that didn't come to be. And I woke up one day at 44 years old and thought, seems like there's something I forgot to do. Let's see, get a good job. Uh, buy a nice house, mm -hmm. I forgot to have a baby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was not something that I really wanted to, to pass up this lifetime. Okay. It was something that I really still wanted for myself. Uh, and so I ended up adopting my son. Awesome. I was okay. 44, almost 45 years old okay. uh, by the time he uh, uh, came to, to be my baby. And uh, it's later than I would have wanted. Mm -hmm. It's later than I would have thought was realistic but it has turned out to be the blessing of my life. There are a lot of advantages to uh, later motherhood. I'm sure, you're more mature, you're probably more grounded, financially, spiritually, all of the above. All of the above. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I, listen. You know what I'm talking about. And so, I'm getting there. you know, for me, it just uh, has turned out to be an amazing blessing to parent this child. And even now, you know, a lot of my classmates, I, we had a recent little reunion of my 
uh, college uh, class from Hampton mm -hmm. University online, and all of my friends are talking about their grandchildren. You know, my son is 20 years old, so I don't, I don't have, hope I don't have any grandchildren in the near future. So I'm sort of off step in terms of uh, people my age, uh, but it just feels like the right time for me. You know, one of my friends who uh, is the director of the Women's Studies Program at the University of Houston called mm -hmm. me after I adopted my son and said, hey, I'm writing a book called Late Motherhood and I want to interview you for it. And I said, I'm not giving you an interview for that book. I'm not late. This is when I can do it. You know, that's so funny. So <laughs> I, have a story with, I have a story with that. So um, I've never had a very, very strong desire to birth children, uh -huh. right? So I am completely okay that if I meet someone and they have children. I'm completely okay being a bonus mom. I'm completely okay with adopting. I, I love my nephews. Like that really works for yes. me. Yes. And I can honestly tell you, I've had women tell me that I was selfish. I've had, and, and I'm like, why are you so mean to me? Because that's, mm. they, I, I, let's see, I've gotten selfish the most. Um, what else have I gotten? Uh, I don't know, but the last conversation, I remember the lady saying she called me selfish. I was so accustomed to it, like, okay, whatever, you think what you want. And then she came back and said, you know what, I'm so sorry. And she said, you know, I have kids, and guess what? I did it all the wrong way. I had kids because I didn't want to be lonely. Right. You that, chose and yourself. that's selfish. Yeah, ex Girl, that is yes, selfish. Yes, honey. I mean, <laughs> if you have children because you think that they're supposed to fill, fulfill some role in your life. Absolutely. And make your life happier or better. You're doing it wrong. And you're it's, doing it wrong. It took me a, I can honestly <laughs> tell you, Judge Gilmore, it took me a while. I really did feel like a bit like, well, damn, what's wrong with me? Like, what is wrong with me mm -hmm. that I don't have this natural desire to want to carry this child? Why, what's wrong with me? And then Nothing. I think at that moment, that last time, that conversation like a year or two ago, it's like, Nothing's wrong with me. This is what I feel this and exactly. I'm OK with it. And, and I think and I commend you because it takes a lot more to adopt and love someone you did not birth than someone you did. You know, I, and I tell a lot of my friends, of course, once you do something, you sort of shift the paradigm for your whole peer group. And everybody starts mm -hmm. saying, what is it like? Was it easy to adopt? They, you know, like I'm the expert on adoption now. I'm <laughs> only the expert on my own adoption. Right. But the one thing that I can say to women that are considering it is. I think that you have to be okay with the idea of not birthing your own children. Mm -hmm. And you have to sort of mentally come to terms with that. And once you do that, then you're all, then you're able to be all in, in terms of, of uh, accepting, loving, cherishing uh, your child that is your, your, your earth child right. uh, brought to you divinely, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to the child that you birth. So, uh, and, and what's so funny with my son and I, he looks exactly like me. And he says, See, look at that. everybody says, mom, everybody tells me that we look exactly like, are you sure you didn't have me? I said, I'm sure I was there. But look at that divinity. <laughs> in that. Let's, you know what? Hold that thought. We are going to be right back after this commercial break. See you guys in just a second. at Ron Carter Cadillac with the new 2021 XT6 Luxury Collection with standard third row seating for just $4.59 a month for 39 month lease with only $1 down or purchase and receive 1.9% APR for 60 months plus $2,500 bonus cash. Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Test drive the new 2021 Escalade today at Ron Carter Cadillac. Smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter I'm a part of the prenatal care club now, taking all my STD tests. Did you know your doctors required by law to test you three times for syphilis and HIV? Yes, my husband and I are making sure I get all three tests. Oh, good. Testing is the key to preventing congenital syphilis. And good prenatal care is your first labor of love. Glad to hear your husband is so involved. Thank you. Yes, taking all my STD tests for syphilis is important to both of us. My prenatal promise is to prevent a stillbirth or miscarriage. To find out more, visit myprenatalpromise.com. Thank you. 
Welcome back as we talk more about woman to woman. And no, we're, talk we're not talking about Barbara calling Shirley, okay? Not that woman to woman. We are literally talking about things that, you know, we deal with as real women in this world. Now, Judge Gilmore, you mentioned, you know, handling all of it, right? The balance of it all. In your opinion, how does that work? How do you mount balance marriage, uh, family, children, homework, cooking? How do you do it and all? And job, right? <laughs> right. And job. I, I think that the misinformation that women have been fed for so many years mm -hmm. is that there is such a thing as balancing it all simultaneously. Okay. I think that the answer is that you can have it all sequentially, just not at the same time. If you're doing really, really well, if you're at the pinnacle of your career, mm -hmm. then your personal life, your family life, with your husband or your children is probably on the back burner mm -hmm. because you have to give 100% in order to get to the pinnacle of your career. That okay. was my situation. I gave 100%. I got to the pinnacle of my career very, very early, you know, 36 years old to become a federal judge. At the time, I was the youngest federal judge in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, that meant that I had not taken care of my personal and my family life. Uh, but if your family life is doing really great, if your husband's happy and your children are good, then that means you've probably put your career on the back burner for the moment. You're not available to travel. You're not available for late night work. You're not available for big projects that require you to work all weekend and miss your kids' games. Mm. Uh, so I think it's a constant struggle of moving things from the front burner to the back burner, trying to decide what it is that you're going to prioritize at that particular moment in time. You know what? Let me tell you something that I had someone say to me. Uh, one of my good girlfriends, so she's married, they have three children. Mm -hmm. um, and we were talking about something similar to this. And she said, and I thought the, I thought the example was so great, a mm -hmm. great analogy. She said, I don't know if balance is the word. Mm -hmm. She said, but I think things should flow. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, think of it like a good song. She said, you have all the instruments playing at one time, but at one moment, you know, you may hear the drums more than you hear the piano. You know, you know, the guitar is back there playing, but you really can't hear the strings, but you know, it's playing. She said, so I don't know if I'd use the word balance. She said, but everything should flow. Everything should come together. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I was like, you know what? That's a good, good. I've never thought of it That's that right. way. Because sometimes one thing is, is louder and needs more attention, right? Right, right. Uh, and, and, you know, when, when my son was, was young, he was eight or nine years old. He was a big soccer player. And one weekend I was busy working, doing something, and I sent his nanny to go to the soccer game with him. And he came home and he said to me, don't send that nanny to any more of my games. I was the only kid there today without a parent. Mm. He said, I have one parent. I need my one parent to be at all my games. Nannies can only take to practice. Oh. And I said, oh, okay. But well, he, you know, the, the game, that, right? <laughs> but how could you not after that? But the That's beauty right. in that, he was able to articulate that at such a young age. Oh, he's my child. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you exactly what he's feeling. He is my child. He is going to let you know how he feels. But then I realized that's very important. Mm -hmm. If you if you are all in for the parenting of your child, then you have to be there for the important moments. I'm not saying that you have to be there for every single game, right. but you have to prioritize and think about their schedule and their needs uh, in terms of the kind of career opportunities you take, uh, the kind of things that you and your spouse might want to mm. do. Um, it, it, it all has to work together, but it's never going to be a scenario where you can put everything, where it's all in balance simultaneously. You know what, as I listen to you talk, mm -hmm. <laughs> all I'm thinking is, this is like four full-time jobs. That's literally what I'm yes. thinking. It's, yes. it's a lot. It's a... And so can you do four t jobs well at the same time? Probably not. And do them 365 days a year. That's exactly right. <laughs> Probably not. So here's the question. Here's a million dollar question for you. Okay. Can women have it all? Yes, not at the same time. You love this, not at the same time. Not at the same <laughs> time, yes. <laughs> so because look, look, even even my life is sort of a cautionary tale or, okay. uh, you know, I, I, I worked hard, became a federal judge by the time I was 36, 37 years old, I'm on the bench. Uh, didn't have a baby in my life until mm -hmm. I was 44. Mm -hmm. uh, spent the last 20 years of my life raising this baby into the little man child that he is today. Mm -hmm. And so now my theme for this stage of my life is getting back to me. Mm -hmm. And so I think that at this point in time, I'm more ready, open and able to have a really loving relationship because okay. I'm not worried about 
does my child have something to eat? He's 20 years old. Mm -hmm. it's, there's food in the refrigerator. You can't figure out how to feed yourself at this point in time. It's a Bible of the fittest. <laughs> right. You're just going to die. I mean, I can't worry about it at this point in time. Now I feel like my focus should be on myself as my priority, not my baby, not taking care of my child, not showing up for all his events. He's 20 years old. He is a young man. Um, and so I feel like I've had it all. Great career, mm -hmm. child that I wanted. Now it's time for me to focus a little bit more on my personal life. Okay. So I feel like, yes, I've had it all, but not at the same time. Okay. So let me ask you this then. Mm -hmm. How would you prioritize from now on? How do you recommend women? So say we're talking, we have someone that's 28. Mm -hmm. sitting next to you. What would you tell her about prioritizing? It depends on what her, the desires of her heart are. Okay. Uh, and if one of the desires of your heart is to have a child, mm -hmm. not just parent a child, mm -hmm. uh, but to actually have a baby, then you have a window of opportunity where you need to focus on that mm -hmm. as your priority. Unfortunately for women, that window of opportunity also coincides with your best years of advancement in your career. Mm -hmm. And so there's that push and pull in terms of which one do you focus on the most or picking a career that allows you to be able to prioritize your family and then maybe working towards the pinnacle career after you've had your children and you've mm -hmm. kind of gotten them settled down a little bit and have good child care uh, that you're overpaying for because that's the best advice I ever got. <laughs> o overpay for child care because nobody has to love your children but you. All right. Uh, and so uh, I think that you have to be mindful and thoughtful about what your priorities are at every stage of your life so that you don't accidentally miss a window of opportunity that you wanted for yourself. I like that. And I, I can honestly tell you, for me, I am an advocate of vision boards. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, everybody does me it. Too, me too, me too. <laughs> everybody does it at the beginning of the year. Exactly. Honey, not me. I do it at the beginning of the year. I may do it again in the middle of the year, by the quarter, because my vision may change. Exactly. Right? So my vision may not stay the same, or I may accomplish everything on that vision board. So guess what? It's time to change some things. Exactly. And I, you know what? Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. It has been great. I um, loved it. Our first woman to woman. <laughs> and I loved your story because you don't hear a lot about us adopting. Right. 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 And so to know that that's possible and it to is. love this baby. I love it. Because it baby. is your baby. It and is. now this baby looks like you. Right? Like, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. So thank Absolutely. you for coming. We have really enjoyed you. I appreciate you oh, having thank me. Thank you. We'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Move up at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $319 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $399 a month. Both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 1.9% APR for 60 months plus bonus cash. Gold Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it. Getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit myprenatalpromise.com. Welcome back. I'm really, really glad that we had a real woman in here today to talk about her story. This is our first woman to woman and we are so excited because we want to inspire you guys. Remember, all things are possible. Now, you know I have to always end the show with Dream Out Loud, okay? So I've already told you what Dream Out Loud meant and right now I'm gonna talk about vision boards. If I could, like if I had an audience, I'd have you raise your hand on how many of you guys actually do vision boards. And I know that the societal norm is to do a vision board 
every single year at the beginning of the year. But let me tell you a little trick. Do it when you feel led. Perfect example. I did a vision board at the beginning of 2020. <laughs> and we know how 2020 went, okay? So let's be very clear. Everything on that vision board, literally, it seemed, it appeared that it was not taking place. And then it was the beginning of October. I just felt led, like I literally felt it inside of me, in my spirit, to do another vision board. So I took that one down and I wrote some things on there. I remember writing, Food Network is going to call me. I remember writing, Great Food Truck Race. Now, this part of that story is, I was initially supposed to leave for the Food Network in March 2020, but that's when COVID hit. Did not hear anything from the network. I mean, not a peep, literally, but I did that vision board at the beginning of October, and that was one of the things I put on there. On October 18th, I received a call from Food Network saying, hey, are you ready to come to Alaska to film the show? I said, sure. They said, can you be here in seven days? Whoa. So I'm saying that to say, whenever you feel led to change the vision, you have the power to do so. Shift your vision and stay ready because you never, ever, ever know if you're only gonna have seven days to get ready to leave for whatever your journey may be. If you have a question for me, or if you want to be on the woman to woman episode, you have a story that you want to share that you know for sure can help other women, make sure you email me at info at We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.